Hey guys, so today we're going to take and check out how much power does the GTEC Rusa i3 actually consume. So what I did, I went to Home Depot and picked up this kilowatt. And it's supposed to give you an idea of how many watts um, your devices use and that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get that out of the package right now. It's a question that I've had since I very first wanted to get a 3D printer and I'd ask around and I had different people say different things. I personally don't think it uses more than say a computer does because a computer uses what? About uh, well, 600 watts on average depending on what power supply they have in it. Okay, so what I'm going to do if I can get this to work, the cord's not quite long enough, but let's just go ahead and make it work here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my GTEC, I'm going to plug it into here. I'm going to power it on. Okay, so let's see. So it gives me volts, cost, rate, kilowatt hours used, lapse time. The voltage isn't going to be, that's not something I'm going to worry about. So what I need to do is I need to find out what the rate is for the my local power company. So hang on, let me grab that real quick and get that put in here. Okay, so for in my area, I found out that it's 14.8 cents per kilowatt. So I just I rounded it up to 14.1. So 14 cents, 14 and whatever it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, anyway, from what I read on it, that's, that's what it says. Cause it says in the instructions, like uh, if it's 10 cent, 10.6 cents per kilowatt hour, then you put 106. So in my case, I put 141. So 14.8. So 14.1 just rounded up. Okay. So let's get back here to our. There, volt. Now, from what I understand on this one, I can go from the volt screen and go up and change it to watts and I can also switch it over to amps so let's take a look at the watts okay so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take hit prepare I'm going to preheat for PLA so right now everything's cooled down right now you're seeing it as it's heating up so we're at 160 159 it's hovering right around 158, 159 watts. That's better than I thought it would be, honestly. Now this is a 12, 12 volt uh, power supply. So I imagine if it was a, tw a 24 volt, it'd be a lot more power hungry. Like right now, the Nozzle's up to 99 degrees, the print, uh, the bed is up to 52 degrees, and it's kind of stabilizing, kind of going down a little bit. So that's not near as bad. I honestly thought it would be closer to, you know, two, 300 watts. So it's actually not as power hungry as I thought it was going to be. So let's go ahead and, so that's at 2.04 amps. Let's see if there's anything else on here. 60 hertz, hertz. Okay, so let's go ahead and toggle through the menu here. I imagine if I leave this thing plugged in, it's going to give me a better idea of what the cost is going to be. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. It's not as power hungry as I thought it was going to be.
Okay, so the print bit, everything's still heating up and it's kind of reducing on on the wattage. Okay, the nozzle just hit temperature just now, so it should, once it hits 196, it should, yeah, there, the nozzle kicked off. I'm mad now, I imagine it's kicking back in because it's dropped down to 193. The bed is still heating up. It's at 66 degrees, it's going to top out at 70. Nozzles peated back up to 195. Current bed's at 68. It's about to hit 70 here in just a moment. Okay, print bed just hit 70, so once it hits about 71, it usually kicks off, I believe. Looks like everything heated up. Now it's dropping down to 18. Now something's heating back up. Now I'm interested to see where it's at when it stabilizes. But when it's printing, most generally it's going to be heating up the whole time. So on average you can figure if you're running a 100 watt light bulb and a 60 watt light bulb, it's not going to cost any more than running those two bulbs to run this printer. So that's not near as bad as I thought it would be. Well, cool. I thought that was cool. <laughs> well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.